and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tracy and this is Budget with Tracy. Um, so I have my binder here. If you seen my last video, you've seen me set this one up. I'm just pulling up my calendar. Today is March the 1st when I'm recording this, um, these two videos. So you should be seeing that video, if not today, tomorrow, and then this video probably Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure which. Um, but this is my binder. I purchased this at Walmart on in the clearance aisle. It was only a dollar and it's really pretty. Um, and then I purchased these little dividers at the Dollar Tree and I've had those for a hot minute so they were still a dollar when I purchased them. Um, and I just used my Dymo um, labeler to make all the labels for it. It comes with those little white slips that you can slide in there but in my experience those always get lost. They never stay so I use my Dymo um, labeler for that. This is a 12 month binder. I can make it as many months or as little months as I want to. Once this year is done I will take all my months out, put them in a folder and put them in my filing cabinet for tax purposes. But, um, this is basically how we're going to work this. This binder has my months. I have March and April already set in here. And then I also have my emergency fund and my sinking fund, or not my sinking fund, my vacation tracker put in here which I did mention both of those in my last video. You can find these two on my shop, my Etsy shop, which will be linked below. If you are interested in the month planner um, paper pages, let me know and I will be happy to put them in the shop as well. Um, I do have, when it prints out each month, um, it does come out with oh, um, two paycheck pages. Of course, if you get paid weekly, um, you could you know print out a couple extra pages or what have you. But we get paid once a month. And so even when my Etsy shop actually starts making an income and I get to start paying myself, I am still only going to be paying myself once a month. So I'll be saving all of those for a once a month thing. I do better budgeting once a month as opposed to weekly. I just can't get the hang of that so I try to save it all up and or I will be saving I will try bleh, I cannot talk today. <laughs> I will be trying to save it all up to um, do a full-on once a month type budget type thing. And at that point, I will be using these paychecks. I'll be using one for the paycheck that we receive now, and then one for my Etsy shop as well, so that I can see what's coming out of each paycheck. Um, even if it is just once a month, I still want to be able to keep track of that for my purposes, um, and of course my business purposes as well. So for me, that will work um, for all of that. I may even do up another budget binder for my business. Um, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But this video, I am setting up our March budget. So I'm super excited about this. I usually use a notebook, but it's something I stray from, if that makes sense. I don't keep going with it as easily, and I want to force myself to make myself accountable. So that's what these videos are going to be for. That's their original purpose. Um, I am just using a regular pen. No, I'm not. Hold that thought. Okay, I'm back. So what I'm actually going to be using, I bought these a hot minute ago as well um, from Amazon. I will try to find a link and link them below if you're interested. But they are the ball friction clicker. It erases as well. And I'm human. I make a lot of mistakes, <laughs> as I'm sure we all can attest to. So 
I thought these would be a good idea to have being as I don't want to leave you know boo-boos in my binder. I would like to see a nice clean uh, budget. So with that being said I'm going to choose the blue one I think for right now. So we are in the month of March. And we start on Wednesday. And there are 31 days in the month of March. So there's that. This is payday for us. And I think for right now, until we do our weekly check-in, that is all that we will be doing on this for now. So we are a very low income budget. Um, well, I don't know if you call it very low, but we try to stay around the $1,500 range. So that's, you know, what we've got coming in and everything. So um, we try to keep everything accordingly. There are some times when I do my estimates, they are way off. And then I have to take from other things to pull in, especially for our fixed expenses. I have to take from some of our variables later in the month. And even if I estimated them out, I may have to take those and put them over to the fixed to adjust accordingly. Um, so our budgets can be all over the place. And I'm trying to get to a point to where that is not the case. Plus, I want to start paying off some of our debts. We don't have a lot um, by some standards. But to our standards, even a dollar in debt is a lot. So we are going to be working towards that getting rid of that as well over the next i'd say couple years um, with a lower budget it's still doable it's just it takes longer to do because you still have to live you still have to you know function you can't just be you know without um irregular necessities you have to have a house you have to have your a roof, not a house, but a roof over your head. You have to have food in your belly. You know, there are staples that you have to have. And we live way, way, way out in the country. So we do have um, the privilege of growing a small garden every year. Um, so that's something we're going to utilize this year, too, to help offset some of our grocery budget. Um, to me, the grocery budget is not big enough. There, we're a family of three um, living in the house. Um, we have drastically come down. Our two boys have, you know, since grown and moved out on their own. So they are adulting now. Yay. Um, and doing really good for themselves. So our daughter graduates this year and we're hoping to get her on a pretty good footing as well. Um, I'm teaching her about budgeting. With that being said, I am not a professional. Please do not take what I write down here as what you have to do with your budget. Your budgets are 100% personal and what works for me may not work for you. So consult your tax <laughs> professionals. Consult, you know, somebody who actually works with numbers for a living because that is not me. Um, this is just what I do. This is what um, I'm hoping will work for our family and it may change over time. It may stay the same. It may get better. It may get worse. We'll see. Um, it's a journey. So I don't expect miracles overnight. Obviously, there may be months where I am fabulously doing my thing and then there may be months where I am drowning. <laughs> Hopefully not very many of those. But with that being said, I do have uh, my handy dandy calculator, but I don't need that one yet. So I have cheated a little bit and kind of did a map out of basically what I am wanting to do to accomplish. These are all of our bills. And so, yeah, let us get started. I will not be filling out the income. Um, I may do that later in videos, but right now that is something that I would like to keep a little private. Um, I will 
right out. I mean, I know I told you around the $1,500 range, but I don't want to give you exact numbers on that as of yet. I don't feel comfortable doing that yet. And I hope you understand this is going on the internet and I feel there are some things that should still be private. I grew up in a household where money wasn't really talked about a whole lot and so this is new to me. <laughs> I may change my mind later and add the income um, amounts in and you know where everything comes from or whatnot but for right now this is what we have to work with. So for our fix fixed, I'm so sorry I cannot talk today. For our fixed expenses, we have rent. And that is $550 on the estimate. But that's actually real too, so, but I'll write that in later when I actually pay it. Um, gas. That is $30 is what I'm guesstimating that to be. Electric. Is $75. My estimate on that. Our water bill. I aim a little high on the water bill. Don't judge me. But we've had a leak and we have since fixed the, the leak but I am so terrified of getting a huge water bill again that I just automatically budget for a lot. We don't have sewage or anything it's just strictly water but that one leak it was a lot so um that's what I budget for and then I use you know anything that we have left over out of that to pad the checking account so if we need something later in the month or you know an emergency comes up over and above you know emergency fund money or what have you which we spent last month's emergency fund so we're starting from zero again and I'm trying to get to where we're not doing that hence the budget so internet We do have Starlink, so it's a little pricey, but out here in the country, we don't really have many options. And I did get an email that in April, our internet is going up. So that's always fun, but that's how we watch TV. That's how we use our phones. That's how, you know, that's everything included with the exception of um, our subscriptions. Um, cause we do have Hulu and we have a couple other subscriptions that we pay for as well. So, um, that is our TV and trash. Trash is every three months, but it ends up being about 85 to $90. So I always put $30 aside for trash and keep that so that when the bill does come, I'm already ready for it and I don't have to take money, you know, that month to go do that. Um, the vehicle insurance. Is estimated at $80. And the vehicle gas. is estimated at $80 and that is usually what I take out for it. We may or may not use all of that in the month. Usually we do but we'll see. And the vehicle registration slash sticker is $10 a month. That's another sinking fund. I I do put a couple of these in my fixed expenses, but they are sinking funds. But I would rather do it this way as opposed to just waiting until that bill comes, if that makes sense. Okay, so we have two credit cards. Credit card one, estimated $300. 
and credit card two estimated three hundred dollars um sammy is a fixed expense for me because that is her allowance that she gets every month doctors slash meds is $30 because my husband's copay and then his medication and our phones is $10 now in order to keep our phone budget down we use the internet um, based calling and we use text now it's an app that you can get and it is free however if you want to keep your phone number with that every month um, you can pay I think it's $4.99 a month is what we pay so that we can keep that phone number it only works when we're on the internet we don't have any um, service when we're out of the house so these are basically our house phones um, but it is only ten dollars a month that way and I save quite a bit of money as opposed to having a house um, phone out here in the country that way. The only downfall is when the electric's out, we don't have a phone. <laughs> but that is okay. That is something we are okay with living with. Um, so yeah, let's get that. So, 550. <clears throat> Alright, so... 550, 30, 75, 90, 135, 30, 80, 80, 10, 300, 300, 30, 30, 30, 10. Comes to 1780. Now, I know I tell you that we try to keep this down to about $1,500. So we use our credit cards. So we use our credit cards every month and we pay them off every month. So we only use up to $300 on each card. So if I were to take off the $600 from the credit cards, we're only at $1,180. So to me, this makes sense. And the one credit card is a Walmart credit card. So we get points back every month for using it and that helps, you know, bring down the amount on the card so that we get basically free stuff like households or whatever we purchase through walmart.com or at Walmart itself. It doesn't matter. Um, we get more points if we purchase online as opposed to in store, but you know, everything counts. So that is what we do with that. But for this budget purposes, we're leaving it at the 1780 because that is what everything is wrote down and that's how I know to budget accordingly. So variables is groceries. And that is estimated at $320. And that's for the month. Online. This includes all of our subscriptions. I have a subscription for um, an Amazon book app. It's a Kindle app. So I have a subscription for that. Every month we have Hulu. We have a couple other subscriptions as well. So all of that goes into our online uh, budget. And that is approximately $50 that I budget for that. It isn't always $50, but... I do try to budget at least that much for it. Our sinking funds. Over and above what I've already budgeted for is $220. And our necessities for the house. 
So I do break up our food budget as well as our necessities. And necessities would be things like shampoo, conditioner, laundry detergent, you know, household supplies that you would need. So I break that up but, um, from the food budget. Some people don't, but this is how my brain works, so this is how I do it. Pets. I budget approximately $100. I do have a large dog. At current, I have my son's two dogs as well. They're both German Shepherds. Uh, my son and daughter-in-law's dogs. Um, we have a cat, an outside cat, and then we have chickens. So this covers their food and then if we have anything left over out of this budget we put it in a sinking well we will be putting it in a sinking fund for like vets and all that fun stuff however i do have a sinking fund that i'm starting for vets and things so i'm trying to be conscious on that as well our eat out fund We do not eat out a lot. Usually it is grocery or town day that we eat out. Um, we don't go to town a whole lot. So on those days we do <clears throat> kind of spend all day. <laughs> and so we treat ourselves with an eat out. And that is going to be $45. And yes, that is for the month. Um, we're going to try to stick to that this month because we do have a couple outings this month doctor's visits as, as well as um, just our regular monthly um, couple trips into town to get groceries and stuff so we're going to try to stick to that it's kind of hard to do in today's society with the amount everything costs nowadays but we are still going to try but um, that is going to be our budget for that Sam's this month, I usually order online and just have it delivered to the house, but this month we are actually going to where Sam's is, so I'm thinking about stopping in store so I don't have to pay the shipping fee, which usually costs us about $17 to $20, and, you know, that's, that's a lot of money that I could be using for other things for the house as opposed to actually spending it on strictly shipping. However, convenience-wise, sometimes the $17 to $20 is worth it. I don't know, but this month we're going that direction, so we're just going to hop in and do it ourselves. So I am budgeting $100 for Sam's. I also have to start a sinking fund for Sam's because I believe our membership is coming due, and I don't want to have to take the whole, whole amount. Sophie, what are you doing, baby? I don't want to have to take the whole amount out of one month so i'm probably going to start excuse me a sam's envelope for that and then we purchased a hutch off of a family member and we are still making payments on that we're almost paid off so we're about halfway through on it so i budget for that as well so 320, 50, 220, 100, 100, 45, 100, and 50. So this total is $985. Now, I do not take cash out for groceries. Sometimes I don't take cash out for necessities. It just depends because I do um, Walmart pickup and you have to have the card to do the Walmart pickup. At least that's the way mine works. I don't know if I can pay cash there when we pick it up or not. I've honestly never tried <laughs> to figure that part out. But, you know, if I can and I can do that, maybe eventually I'll take cash out for groceries. But for now, I keep it on the card so that I can just do my Walmart pickup. It just makes it so much easier. I also, for the most part, do a Walmart pickup for a one-time only thing for the month, and that seems to work pretty good for our budget. I see my camera is blinking at me, so we're just gonna hurry up and write down our fixed. 
as 1780 and our variable and the dogs want to go outside so they're whining okay so I do not think that we are going to hit our $1,500 mark for this month <laughs> think we'll be a little over so we'll have to do some creative um, workarounds and see what we can come up with but this is my starting point for this month so if you like this video don't forget to leave us a thumbs up leave me some comments down below give me maybe some suggestions nice suggestions anything rude will be deleted from the channel um, and yeah we will work on this the next video you're going to see is our sinking funds um, set up. We're not doing any cash stuffing or anything like that in that video or this video that will be coming on a later video. So this is our monthly budget so far. This is our starting point. This is where we are going to um, evaluate things. Um, for the first couple months, in all honesty, those are going to be my trial months anyway and we'll just see you know what we can adjust accordingly to make things fit better and go from there um i know that will be coming off probably may i should have that paid off sam's doesn't always come out to a hundred dollars a month but i do buy the big bulk things for the house through sam's groceries um we're pretty much set on that because we are three adults living in the house and Groceries are expensive, y'all. So, I could probably adjust my online down. A sinking funds I can adjust down a little bit. Probably be a little lenient on necessities. And I cannot be any more lenient on pets because my fur babies need their numbs. So, I don't know. We'll figure something out somewhere to adjust some things accordingly. Um, no, I do not budget anything for myself. It's only my daughter and my husband. Um, so that's just how I work with my budget. My family comes first and if I see, you know, a shirt on clearance or something, I might pick it up for me out of the necessities amount or something like that. I would like to give myself later on a, um, you know, a a space but for now I budget for them because that's just how it works in this household so yeah the next video you're going to see is our sinking fund setup and that will probably be posted on Sunday and then our cash stuffing video will probably be Monday or Tuesday so keep an eye out for those and then next week on probably Friday ish um, we should be doing a week check-in and see how everything went for the week and we'll go from there. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.